Hey, it's time to wander Wisconsin. Is it? That's right. We're in a really cool place this morning. I have loved these segments. And Josh Breider's in Spring Green. Josh Breider, showing us around. What do you have now? Hey guys, good morning. Of course, we couldn't come to Spring Green and not check out Arthur's Supper Club right off of the highway here in town. And we're really excited to showcase this because look how beautiful this is. Chris Dotter with us this morning. And you guys, you are just taking this over like right now. We are actually, we are right in the middle of doing a transition of uh, takeover of ownership. Um, June 1st was kind of a soft takeover, but July 1st will probably be where we actually sign along the dotted line and it'll be ours. So, so what brought you here to Arthur's? Oh gosh, um, I used to run the Chamber of Commerce here and the owners of Arthur's, I'm very good friends with his daughter um, and her husband and we, um, it was just kind of a natural fit. She's like, I, you know, come and manage Arthur's for us and so that's where it all started where I just managed, I started managing here. I've managed here three years, and it was a natural fit. I had a lot of people, when I would go to their tables and talk to them and just do table touches, they'd be like, are you the owner? Be like, no, I'm managing, I'm managing. And then John Call, the owner, John and Mary Pat Call, he's like, it's natural. Like, you're natural, this is yours. This is your place, so that's where we started. That's where we started the conversation of us taking over. And now you're really happy to make this into a family business too. Yes, yes, definitely. So my husband, who's an architect, will continue with his day job, but you'll see him behind the bar, um, just bringing, you know, that family, the full family. And then both my boys are here. Nick and Cole are both here. Um, Cole's in the kitchen working and Nick's up front with me learning the front part of the business and the books and all that. So. Yeah, it's going to be a family um, owned and operated, and we will be here every single day that we're open. So, so why Spring Green? Well, my husband was born and raised here. Okay. I'm from Arizona, so he came to Arizona, got me, brought me here. <laughs> we decided to raise our kids here, so that's that story why we're here. But his, he's probably related to half this town, so it was kind of a natural fit, you know, to raise your kids in a small town, and we just stuck. We're still here, and. Now we're going to be business owners. So. Well, awesome. Yeah, so you guys do specials uh, many days throughout the week, too. Yes, we do. Yeah, we have daily specials that we do. Um, once a month, we do an all-you-can-eat prime rib. It's usually the first Saturday of each month. And then we do the fourth Wednesday, we do a lobster feast, Yum. which is amazing. Yeah, it's very good. That sounds very good. good. Well, yeah. hey, thank you so much. And yeah, good luck yeah. with everything. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Thanks. super exciting. Yeah, we are. We're super excited to do, you know, the supper club thing is a destination. Yeah. Um, and so that kind of fit in with my Chamber of Commerce. You know, I can still promote the town because I know so much about it just being with the Chamber. So when I'm here, I'm still a touristy person, you know, still telling people where to go. And so, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. It's well, amazing. We appreciate your time this yeah, morning. Thank you. And yeah, thank thanks. you so much. Yeah, thanks. So, so, guys, yeah, beautiful morning here. I mean, we've been to what, four different places just showcasing why you should come check out Spring Green. And I think we're finishing here with one of the best showcases here in the behind us. I know, Leah, you are a big fan of supper clubs. Oh, I think yeah. we need to get the whole gang together and uh, come out here to yeah. Arthur's. Have you ever been to Arthur's before, Chris or Leah? You better believe it. Absolutely. Great old fashioned, Sarah Josh. It's a little early, a <laughs> little early for an old fashioned at this okay. Hour, but okay, have you ever been somewhere with a bad old fashioned? <laughs> it's never too early for an old fashioned, guys. As, no. as, as you know, hey Josh, thanks for showing us around Spring Green this morning. Uh, a really lovely little town. You bet. We really encourage you to check out. Uh, and what inspires you? Josh would love to know. A lot of his ideas come from you, so reach out on social media or email him. It's in the 608 at WICTV.com. I can't help I like old fashions. <laughs> no. Got a lot of talented like, bartenders in Wisconsin. It's like everywhere we go, it's like they have great old fashions. <laughs> They're great. Someday I'll find a bad one, probably in yeah, Illinois. Never is it like, yeah, it was a mediocre old fashioned or not too great. Uh, if I head to Chicago and try and order <laughs> a, an old fashioned, you know that'll be bad. There you go. <laughs> Get me out of this state. Yes. <laughs> Back to Wisconsin.